welcome back to the YouTube. So today we've had a bit of a nightmare with the camera setup. I'm currently filming on back camera, so I cannot see what I'm doing. So if this ends up being a fail, I don't think I'll post it. Anyway, we are going to be doing a trying McDonald's new menu item video. I had to get chicken nuggets because I can't not, and I have to get a box of pickles because at the end of the day, I can't not. They put it through as a hamburger. Usually they just don't charge me, but I mean, they gave me so many that I'm not about to um, complain. So firstly, chili cheese bites again i don't know if you can see everything so this really is just winging it also got the mccrispy barbecue smokehouse oh my gosh that looks really good actually and we also have the philly cheese stack which i've heard really good things about okay smells really good i like that bun oh my gosh okay really happy with that i'm probably gonna have that first because i think that'll be better hot and then because i can't help myself i got nine chicken nuggets last time i had these in this car um, I threw them everywhere when I was trying to show you. So there you go. If you can see them, I didn't throw them on the floor this time. <laughs> so all right, I'm going to get my table set up and then we will eat them. Do you know what it is? It's because it's such a bad day outside, like weather wise, like, there's no good lighting. So when I was trying to film it on front camera, it was literally like a grainy mess. Like I'm hoping it's not going to be a grainy mess now. This has pickles, cheese, cheese sauce, um, uh, onions maybe maybe not onions onions oh yeah like crispy onions <gasps> okay i'm going for it oh my gosh yes <gasps> the melted cheese sauce why but this has to stay hmm That is 10 out of 10. Can you see the sauce? Mm. This could be one of the best burgers yet. Mm. Okay. I understand the hype. Yes. Wow. Okay. Strong start. Let's have a drink. Right, here we go. I thought I had a hair on it. Chili cheese bite. That one's pretty empty. I love these. I love the Burger King ones of these, so I know I'm going to like them. Whoa. Why do I just think everything's going to be good with a pickle? Because it is. Everything's going to be a pickle. Mm. This is my second favourite cheese thing. I like the mozzarella sticks best. Because nowhere else does them. Because Burger King do these, you can still have them all the time. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, next we have the McCrispy Barbecue Smokehouse Burger. Which, this looks really like, this is going to be messy to eat. It looks a bit deconstructed. So I'm not really sure how we're going to eat this. Oh, I haven't, there's no pickles on this. So I'm, I mean, I'm going to add pickles already. I know. Well, you should try the burger without adding pickles first. Why? Just, but Why? If you can give me a good reason why, then fair enough. But I don't think you can because there isn't one. Okay. Oh, that looks like a good bite. Lots of chicken in that bite. Should we go for that? Oh. Mmm. McDonald's have actually brought out some cracking new items it's difficult to eat because oh a pickle fell out don't mind if i do it's a bit like sloppy like slimy slidey <laughs> it's not slimy to taste to hold you know like a big mac Philly cheese stack still better which i never thought i'd say i always prefer chicken burgers over beef burgers always but here we are i have no idea if you can hear the music but i'm next to frankie and benny's and they play really loud music like i don't know if you can hear it though but i've listened to it and it sounds great <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah i'm also a fan of that i feel like that could be the best menu launch from mcdonald's in a while oh I didn't get a McFlurry. I actually didn't think to. It was quite, it was really quite busy. 
because it was raining so much when I was trying to order she couldn't really hear me through the window but and it's actually to be fair definitely not the weather for it let's go for some chicken nuggets sweet and sour sauce of course you can only get one um sauce for free there you have to pay 5p for the rest oh chicken nugget I can't not get them especially with pickles I feel like I'm like talking to myself because I can't even see myself so I'm looking around everywhere when I should be looking right there at you but sorry I don't really know what chicken nuggets look like oh should we do a dip hmm pickle pickle nugget that is just goated wow these did come with the salsa but I feel like these really don't need a sauce. I feel like it's just not needed. I am a fan. God, I'm dropping it everywhere. Actually filming this, um, well, it'll be yesterday for you. It's Saturday today. I just watched, <clears throat> well, I support Man United. And I've just watched them <clears throat> win 1-0 against Fulham. How on earth did we win that match? I don't even feel like proud that we won it. Like I do, obviously, but what is going on with us? And anybody who blames the manager, it's really annoying me. It's clearly not the manager. He made all the right... I mean, maybe you should have bought subs on earlier this match, but we won in the end, so it doesn't matter. But I really don't think it's Sam Hag's fault. It's just the players can't be bothered. Marcus Rashford, what is he doing? Martial, how is he still there? something funny happened earlier so i said in one of my tiktoks um last week that we were going to watch the darts um grand slam <laughs> next week on wednesday and then when i was looking at what whether the fixtures would be out or whether the grand slam started today nothing was coming up and i realized it's the week after so i am going to watch the darts and i am very excited but i just got the wrong week it's the 15th <laughs> Oh god, massive group of people. Don't look. It's fun, it's a family. I was really concerned that I'd be filming this and it'd be tipping it down with rain. And all you'd be able to hear is the rain. But it's actually stopped raining now. It's still horrible weather though. I'm going to finish this because it was so good. Well, I'll finish all of it. The thing is, people always say you should make these longer. But I feel like 20 minutes for a video is just too long. Like, that is too long. Here we go. That is one of the best burgers they've ever had. And I said that with confidence. Oh, actually, I want to talk about some of my current favourite things that I'm watching. First thing is on Apple TV. And I can only watch it when I'm at Rob's because they have Apple TV and we don't have it at home. It's uh, Idris Elba's new thing, Hijack. Oh, it's so good. I'm on episode four or five. But just watch four, so technically on episode five and it's so intense like i wish i could have i had apple tv so i could like binge watch it <laughs> mm. i'm also still watching the oc i love it i'm on season two now i feel like it's been like um i binge watch it for like two days and then i don't have time to watch it for a few more but i love it it's so good I also watched this thing on, I think it was on BBC, I watched it on the plane, like downloaded it before we went on holiday. It was called Black Snow and it's a really good like little whodunit, you probably won't guess it, like it's, but it all makes sense at the end, like really good. So on BBC, Black Snow. I'm not sure if this is BBC or if it's ITV, but Wolf, I don't think it's new, it's like a few months ago. Love that, that was really good as well. That was like a technically a whodunit, but again, really enjoyed it. I also mentioned on one of my vlogs the other day that we have one of the Odeon Limitless Passive. We're using it again tonight. We are honestly making the most of it. And you make your money back within two films in one month. So if you go and see two films a month, you make your money back. There was like two options. So you could get like the £15. See any film in normal seats or you could spend £18 
and see any film in recliner plus and like you know the sofa seats and everything so we got that one and we did a two cinemas two cinemas two films in one day we went to see the leonardo dicaprio one and then went to see saw because saw not to digress but i've got to say people won't know this but the person who created saw also created all the conjuring annabelle the nun that whole franchise and also created all the insidious franchise films and all the saw films and he's only 46 years old so like he did the first saw when he was like early 20s james Wan. like how like what a genius like that is so cool and i've got to say i think the saw films like as a set if you watch them like within like in order over a period of like a couple of weeks and you remember each one the links between them are crazy and the twists are like the plot twists are good but the plot twists are better if you've watched the other ones because it means something because the times like overlap between the films it's like a film will be happening and then i could go on and on about the saw films and i'd never seen them until first year uni basically me and my whole flat got covid so we couldn't leave it so every night on the projector we'd watch a saw film i think a few nights we did two saw films and it just was so good really enjoyed doing that and from then i was like a bit obsessed like i love the whole concept of it like he doesn't actually ever kill anyone it's all just very clever if you haven't seen the saw films for me it's like a perfect because it's not for everyone it's gory but like for me it's like a perfect film like it's gory it's a horror film but like you know there's like revelations in films where it's like like plot twists there you go within the film but then also like revelations that link like people from the other films like coming back in or like oh i mean for me they're just like the perfect set of films like everything i love in one so anyway i went to see saw <laughs> that was amazing it's that the, the saw x oh no it's not saw x is it oh it's saw x is it saw x saw the new one I think it's based between films one and three. Well, between... Yeah. Between two and three, I think. Yeah. No, three and four? Yeah. Between... No. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, it's at that, that kind of period. <laughs> the clogs are going. Mm. Let's have another one of the cheesy... I was going to say chicken ball. It's not a chicken ball, is it? Mmm. That's a better one. A bit more of this there. There is so much sauce on here. And we're going to have to take some off, I think. Yeah, this just got really messy really quick. They, like, they're sliding everywhere. Mmm. I'm getting rid of the bun at this point. We're eating the chicken. <laughs> We're doing it like wing stop. Mmm, she so that's really good. Way less faff. God, it's a big pickle, look at that. Imagine if this whole time it wasn't recording. That'd be so funny. All right, let's have one more nugget and then I will call it a day. I don't know how long I've been filming for, but I don't tend to like to do them too long, so. Those nuggets are perfect crispiness, though. Mm. Nugget, pickle combo. Mm -hmm. So good. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already. Overall verdict of the food. Is a 10 out of 10. The, oh, actually, the chicken one is a little bit sloppy. Difficult to eat. But other than that, it's really good. That Philly cheese, so, so nice. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. And I will see you next Sunday for... I don't even know yet. I'll decide in the week. <laughs> Bye.